Hey guys, welcome to the Bondi Sands YouTube channel. My name is Steph Claire Smith. I'm the face of the brand and I'm also one of the co-owners of Keep It Cleaner. So you may know me from there too. Today we've got a very exciting how-to use one of Bondi Sands newest products. It is the Aero Ultra Dark. The Aero Ultra Dark is an aerated foam, which means it's super lightweight and it's very quick drying. This formula is our deepest color yet, so it's perfect for those experienced tanners who want that deep Aussie glow, or those with a more olive toned base like I have. I'm gonna show you the whole process from application to the final result after wash off. And make sure you listen out for some tanning tips from me throughout the whole video. Tip number one, I've already prepped my skin by exfoliating and shaving 24 hours before application. For me, exfoliating as the first tip is the most important one because having a great base without dry flaky skin is gonna mean your tan will look flawless and last longer. Without further ado, I'm going to get a little less clothed and get tanning. <laughs> All right, so I've got undressed and put my hair up, time to tan. All right guys, before I apply the tan, I'm gonna put a little bit of moisturizer on those dry patches. So I'm gonna put them on my elbows and my kneecaps. <laughs> it's time to apply the tan. I always like to start with my legs and get the lower body done. Make sure you've got your mitt on. And I was gonna shake it, but this is really hard to do when I don't have a bench in front of me for the lid. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do my left leg first. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can already tell this color is gonna be great. <laughs> so if any of you have tried to put a tan on before without a mitt, you'll see here how much easier it's blending and going streak free when you've got that mitt. When it comes to tanning my feet, sometimes I put a bit of moisturizer on my ankles as well and I kind of just use whatever's left over on the mitt. I wouldn't kind of pump a whole new bit of foam on there before doing the foot. I just leave that to the last bit after I've done the whole leg. So my legs and bottom is done. I'm going to go to my stomach now. I'd usually obviously go from my stomach to my chest, but I'm not gonna get that naked for you today. So I'll just show you on the outside of my bikini. <laughs> I don't know what it is about tan, but I always feel like um, I look more toned. Muscle tone, I don't know, stands out. Maybe that's why when they do those muscle comps that they're all like super covered in tan. So next up, I'm going to do my arms and my chest. So usually I wouldn't have this uh, little bikini strap <laughs> in my way. Feel free to do this naked at home, guys. <laughs> And just like my feet, I like to make sure that I'm just using the leftover tan for my hands and I'm not going too heavy. <laughs> so when I'm putting it on, I can literally hear all the little bubbles. It's so aerated and lightweight and it's really, really easy to rub in and be streak free. So if you're not sure really what to do with your underarms, I do apply my tan to my underarms and Actually, one day I got a tip to put a little bit of talcum powder underneath your underarms if you're worried about sweating. And it works really well because it doesn't actually affect your tan at all, but it means you won't sweat it off. <laughs> so I think my favorite thing about the Aero is how quick it dries. So you can do your second layer if you like doing a double layer like I do, really, really quickly. And it's just also really comfortable throughout that uh, marinating stage. So not everyone likes applying tan to their face and that's okay, you don't have to, but I do. So I'm going to get rid of this makeup because that doesn't really make sense putting a tan over makeup and I'll be back to apply the last bit. So makeup is off and I'm not going to add any more product to the mitt. I'm just going to use whatever's left over there again, like I did with my hands and my feet. <laughs> I also like to put a little bit of lip gloss on my lips. <laughs> so that I don't, don't tan my lips too much. Now this is really hard without a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, well that is the tan completely applied. Time for some comfy clothes. So I've got my comfy clothes on. Now this tan takes six to eight hours to fully develop before you should rinse it off. So I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow, rinse it off, and I will see you here. Good morning guys, it is the next day. I went home, went to bed, woke up this morning and had a shower. And this is the results of the Aero Ultra Dark. So something that I love about the Aero products is how it fades. It doesn't come off patchy. It's definitely the longest lasting tan I've ever used and it comes off really evenly. 
Another way you can make your tan last longer and keep it looking fresh is to stay moisturized with an oil-free moisturizer at the Bondi Sands. Body moisturizer is tan friendly, it won't strip your tan and it keeps you feeling super moisturized. Overall guys, I am stoked with the results from the Aero Ultra Dark product and I think you guys are gonna love it. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the Bondi Sands YouTube channel to keep up with everything tanning.